What's up guys, welcome back to Barfly Freeport. Today, Marius and I are doing one of our harebrained tests yet again. We wanna figure out whether or not the temperature of the glassware has a lot to do with the temperature of the cocktail. Does a glass that's very cold help a cocktail stay cold? So we are going to test this today. Uh, we've come up with a little test. We've talked about it a little bit. Uh, and hopefully we come out with some uh, interesting results. The other thing that we're gonna be doing is testing the resulting dilution of the cocktail as well. So we're gonna be specifically testing this in pebble ice drinks, right? Right, and disclaimer, this is not a scientific test. This is, uh, what we, we're trying to do is as scientific as we can, but well, yeah, you be the judge of that, but this is a home test. Right, Real I mean, world here, here's uh, the thing. Scenario. I'm not interested in running a laboratory test because nobody's gonna be making cocktails in a laboratory. That said, Marius and I have done things in the past like mix up citrus fruits or, or like, you know, we just, we didn't do a very good job. Uh, this time's a little bit different. I consulted with a science teacher that reached out and said, I'll help you with just talking through some of the variables of your tests, which was really, really nice. Uh, he's in Germany, his name is, well, his his handle on, on Discord is, is Shen, so say thank you to him if you're on our Discord channel. If not, you should come join our Discord channel. There's lots of fantastic jibba-jabba about cocktails there. This is how we're gonna do the test. We're gonna take three glasses, as you can see, there's two of them here, one of them's in the freezer. We're gonna take three glasses. We're gonna take one that's just room temperature glass. Uh, we're gonna take another glass that has been chilled with uh, ice and water. So we're gonna dump this out and make the cocktail in it. And then we're gonna take one out of the freezer. We're gonna put uh, some cocktail in here. I've batched out a cocktail and I've put it in the refrigerator so that the liquid is all at the exact same temperature. We're gonna pour the exact same amount in each glass and we're gonna cover them in pebble ice and let them sit for what, 10 minutes? 10 minutes, yeah. 10 minutes. We're gonna let them sit for 10 minutes. Then we're going to take the temperature of each cocktail and see how far down it got so that we know uh, which one was the most, uh, we should take the cocktail, we should take the, the temperature in the beginning mm -hmm. and we'll take the temperature at the end and then we'll see like which one was the most effective at chilling the cocktail or keeping it chill really. Uh, so we're gonna test the dilution by having these nice labeled graduated cylinders and we're going to just hold back the ice and throw the cocktails directly in here and we'll see how much dilution they had, right? Right. right. All right, so we're gonna, I didn't mention this earlier, but we're going to measure the ice so that we make sure that we have the uh, same amount of ice in each glass. So let's get rid of the ice in this guy. Make sure that all of the water is out of it. Don't wanna, wanna make sure that we don't have any liquid on the bottom of this glass. And then we're going to do three ounces a piece on the nose. And whatever this guy ends up being, that's what everyone would be. You think this two scoops, 190 grams, sound good to you? Ooh, on the nose. Taking the temperature right now is gonna be a little bit weird because these have been sitting for a little bit longer, but let's just see what the temperatures are for shits and giggles anyway. This one's coming in at negative five, negative five. So these ones are both negative five. Whoa, negative 7.6 for this one. Okay, all right, let's take these temperatures, shall we? Negative 3.6. 4.4 as I turned it, negative 5.8. All right, what's this one, frozen? Frozen, well, right. let's do the uh, the one that dilutes the quickest, so the room first. All right, room first, yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. All right, let's do this, ready? You tell me when. Yeah, that looks, you think that's enough, yeah. One shake, one last. That's it. That's all. Was... Well, these are the results that you would expect. You have the one that was not chilled at all, 
with the most amount of dilution. The second one has less dilution, but it's kind of negligible, wouldn't you say? I mean, it's it's like, this one's like right on 109, right, on, right exactly at 109. This one is at 100 and, right in between 111 and 112. And then this one is 92. 92 mil. So obviously, Chilling your glassware is a very good idea because you get less dilution over time than you would if you um, if you uh, stored it at room temp. But if you do room temp and you do an iced glass, there's not that much difference. It's negligible. It's like within two mils, right? That's that's. That I wouldn't bother. I mean, here's the thing, you know. The case for icing your glass if you don't have it in a glass chiller, okay, would be that when someone gets a nice cold glass, that's very pleasing to them. So for the pleasure of the, the guest or something, then I would say it's worthwhile. But technically, dilution-wise, it almost doesn't matter at all whether you chill your glass or not. But if you chill it in a freezer, it matters a great deal. So, I mean, chill it, I said chill it or not, but I meant chill it with ice. But if you chill it in the freezer, it's it's a game changer. So there you have it. The glass temperature absolutely affects the dilution of a drink and um, it affects the temperature of the drink because this guy was the lowest temperature and this guy also had the less dilution. So you should always freeze your glass. Freeze your glass. Any last parting words, Marius? What other test do you want to see? Ooh, yes. Comment below on other tests that you would want to see. And do you want us to redo some of the tests we already done? Oh, you're just itching to redo tests, aren't you? <laughs> you're just itching to redo them. But what what else do you wonder about? What what other I mean, wife's tales do you want us to either the confirm thing. or debunk? Actually, this test was a viewer recommendation. So uh, I don't know. I'm kind of out of tests in my brain. But if you guys want to post a test that you want to see, I will happily do the test and post the results here. All right. I like these tests, even though we're bad at them. I really like them. All right, guys, that's it. If you like this channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Check out our website, theeducatedbarfly.com for, I just feel like this is a whole spiel. What do we have on our website? We've got merch on our website. We've got a virtual bottle program on our website and we have articles that we started doing, although I don't post enough of them and I want to post more. I just need the time. To we got the recipes this. on there. We got recipes on there. Um, I want to start a mailing list because we are gonna have some cool stuff coming out in the next few months and year and the year for the, next, the following year, I guess. And, uh, and uh, it would be nice to be able to, to, to tell you guys all about it. And if we do collect your email, I promise you we won't sell it and I promise you we won't uh, spam you either. All right, guys, see you later.